Hey everyone, Ava Paul here, and today we're taking a look at Mattel's Masters of the Universe Revelations Triclops, and this is from the Masterverse line. And you can see the figure here, he comes with a sword. You see, he also has a second head when he becomes part of that techno cult. And it looks like he has a fabric cape. And he also has an extra set of hands, ones that don't hold any items. Whereas one he has is able to hold his sword. Top of the box, of course, has 30 points articulation. Got a cool picture of him here holding a chalice. And it just says Triclops, evil sees everything. Alright, so on the back here we got another nice picture of him. Of course, in the techno cult garb, holding a sword and a little bit of writing here. Triclops, evil and sees everything. The technological genius with the tri side advisor served Skeletor for years. Now that the nefarious Lord of Destruction disappeared, however, Triclops discovered his new purpose. With magic fading from Eternia, Triclops preached about the weakness of flesh and the strength of machines. As leader of a technological cult operating out of Snake Mountain, he demands his followers abandon their weakness and prepare for the digital embrace of Motherboard. Alright, and on the bottom, it has a couple figures for this wave that came out. We have Savage He-Man, Fisto, and Andra. Alright, and for the villains, Triclops, Faker, Scareglow, and Stinkor. Alright, so why don't we get him out of the package and take a closer look. Alright, well here's Triclops out of the package. Now, I was never a big fan of Triclops or Beastman. I like Merman and mainly a lot of the enemies for, like, the Hordak side. And, of course, Skeletor. But, I don't know, I think he was really good in Revelation. I know some people are going to have opinions about that. Meh, I enjoyed Revelation. Alright, so, he came with stuff. Came with a sword. And, let's see how easy this is to put on his hand. Sneak it in there. Alright. Well, it's not entirely tight. It moves around kind of freely. Uh, now it's in there. Oh, that's better. Now it's not moving. Rawr. Perfect. And since we're on the hands, let's uh, take this off. Always takes a little bit of force. And then he comes with two of these open palm hands. Oh boy. Come on, get in there. Alright, there we go. Yeah, so here's the other one. And that's a, I never noticed that before, but he has a little pattern on his hand. Alright, so he also came with another head. This is for the, when he's part of the techno cult. And you can actually turn the eye on this. Just spins right around. So, before we go into his other outfit, let's talk about this right here. So again, he has a little helmet here. You can spin that top part around, get different eyes, and he has the three different ones there. And he has his armor on. You can actually take this off, which you would have to do to put on his other outfit. Just has a little clasp right there in the back. Now let's see. He's got a little loincloth here. And he's got boots that has a supposed to be like fur there. And he has straps on it. Pretty cool. And I like it. It has like these little spikes going around the shoulder area. So let's go over some articulation. So what we saw that already spins. They've got the actual head. That'll go around. Hey, you can look down. You can look up. It's pretty good. You can even kind of tilt his head. Alright. Then we got the arms. Let's go out. So we can go to 90. Now, he can spin it all the way around, even though the shoulder armor kind of gets in the way a little bit. Oh, yeah, and then he has a little part piece of machine there in the shoulder. Oh, other side, too. All right, then we got right here, above the bicep. That will spin. Got the double-jointed elbows. Get a 
good bend on that. Then we got the hand, and that'll go around, and it's got the little flip-flap action there. All right, so we got here, up the chest area. It can bend back. Forward, well, forward's actually kind of normal. So I guess it can only really go back. Then we got the waist, and that'll spin all the way around. Nothing else can't really go. Oh yeah, also for up here, it can go side to side. I got the legs. Let's see. Pretty good. Going out, even with the loincloth, he can still go out. Eh, okay. Back. Mm, about to there. All right, so we got double jointed knees. Let's see how that looks bent. Oh yeah. That's pretty good. And then right at the shin, right here, we can turn that around. Then we got the feet. Now the feet can go up, down, and they got the pivot, or rotation, whatever you want to call it. Alright, so let's make him look like the cult version. So we're going to take off the head. Now, he came with the undercloth, or whatever you want to call it, uh, robe. Yeah, robes. It has a little Velcro back here. Doesn't go all the way down. It only goes about halfway. Just put his legs together. Go ahead and slide that up. Get the arms through. Alright. Now we just put the Velcro back together. Kind of looks like he's wearing a, a dress. Especially with his chest. <laughs> his pecs make it look like he's wearing a dress. Oh boy. Okay. But it's not over yet because then he's got... The shoulder and chest armor that has a little cape on the back. Oh yeah, and this also has a waist belt that connects. There we go. Slide this over and up. Or over and down, I mean. Over and up. What am I thinking? Let me just lift the cape in the back so you can do the little belt clip. Get that peg through. Come on. Oh no. His dress got stuck in there. I'm just going to call it a dress. I know it's robes, but it looks like a dress. Alright, now it looks like a robe. Now they have something covering. Alright. And then we take the new head. And we just pop. And there he is. Oop. Oh yeah, so... Two things about this. Uh, one, you just saw. This top part just comes off. I mean, I could probably put a little bit of glue in there. A little bit of super glue would make that uh, would make that stay on perfectly. Now, the other thing I don't like is the cape. Uh, I don't know if it's because of packaging or the material it's made out of, but if you look, the both sides of it get curled inward. Now, I've had it laying flat for a while now, and it still wants to do the curve. Let's yeah, see. If I move it around, yep, curls right back up. Now, if any of you know how to, uh, besides ironing it, I mean, I could iron it, but I'm afraid I'd ruin it. Uh, I tend to have bad luck when it comes to things like irons and heat, cooking. Anything that involves high heat, I always end up messing something up. But if you know of any good tips to make this cloth cape more flat, I would uh, greatly appreciate that. But yeah, it looks great. I'm, I'm definitely going to keep him in this outfit compared to his one that he comes with. So yeah, this thing is pretty cool. I mean, he's got that, I don't know what you would call it, but it goes down to the, down to the front. Kind of also doesn't go flat, though. 
Hmm, I have to find a way to get that to stay more flat. I could use a, a heat gun on that. That might make it flat. But then again, like I said, I don't want to ruin it. He's got little tassels on the side. All right, well, that's just been my review on Mattel's Masters of the Universe Revelation Triclops, part of the Masterverse line. And if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below. And as always, you all have yourselves a good one, and I will see you later.